capture that. Not the same controls worked. I, I switched the mode by accident. I think I might have. Eliminate the yeah, there we go. Unit there and recapture Ragno Fortress. The battle is tipping Multi. In our All planes. Let's get Multi. Anti-ground. These guys are going to come in and fly, so I'll have some time. These guys are going to run basically head in, uh, head first. We only have 25 ground troops. They have 222, but only 50 are the Tigets. As for air, we're basically evenly matched. 19 are Tigets. All right. I need a multiple, a multi-purpose plane for this one. Let's check out some of the new planes I got. Damn, Strike Eagle. The F-15E adds variety, adds the variety of air-to-ground modifications to the already excellent air superiority design of the F-16 or F-15. My bad. Oh, hold on, hold on. Damn, it can be distinguished from its predecessor by the conformal fuel tanks under the fuselage. Fitted to extend attack range without sacrificing payload. I, I, I made the same mistake again. The F-15E boasts first-class speed, excellent acceleration, and durability. This aircraft can be fitted with powerful high-performance missiles or cluster bombs for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. This large body multi-role aircraft excels on all battlefronts. Yep, as you can see. Here's the Rafale, which is more of a diamond shape. A carrier-based aircraft known as Squall. Distinguishing characteristics include a flower, oh, a flowering. Oh my God, it's it's late at night. A flowing delta wing and a canner design and an area and an aerodynamically conformed air intake. Its ergonomically designed cockpit is earned the high regard among pilots. The Rafael M offers quick response control thanks to a compact turning radius and agile maneuverability. Its large wing surface provides extra storage space for high-performance missiles and dispenser munitions. This multi-role aircraft is well suited for prolonged or large-scale missions. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy this and I'm going to take it. The F-15E It's very well-rounded. Air-to-air -air seems pretty much all I need. Self-forging fragment submunitions. It's air-to-ground. All these are air-to-ground. Who cares? Nah, never mind. I'm not buying any special weapons. All right, I think we're ready. Let's start this mission, Ragno Fortress. Dun dun dun. No one remembers when it was playing that music. All right, multi-roll, as they say. Tell us, which plane should I pick? Oh, this one was that pure air-to-air. -air, remember when we, I needed it last time? This time I'm gonna retire it. Uh. How about my weaponry? You have some. You have some fun with the lassums. Have some fun with the lassums, man. The lassums are fun. Lassums are cool. All right, air to air, air to ground, air to ground, air to air, air to ground. Here goes Warlock. Haha. <laughs> He's making fun of him. Operation A start. Oh yeah, I can feel the drop in maneuverability, man. Don't listen to civilian airwaves during missions. His objective is to recapture Ragnar Fortress. He's stop playing around. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, I should have taken Lassums. Look at all this shit. Actually, you know what? Can I restart this mission? I want to take Lassums. If there's, I thought there was going to be heavy air to air. There is no heavy air to air. It's just freaking. Here, how do I do this? Do I re... now replay is watching the video? Is retry just rest? Yeah, I think so. I didn't quit the mission. I'm taking Lassums. That was a mistake on my part. I immediately got there. I see like. Dozens upon dozens of targets on the floor. Hell no. This can't take Lassums. This can. 28. Well, very low missiles. 
Are 40 normal missiles worth the 8 additional lassums I'm gonna get? Oh, this one only carries 15. Fuck that. I don't think so. Well, let, let's try it. Talisman. Never mind. <laughs> Oops, here. You fly it. You have some fun. Uh, so basically, all we do is switch crafts. I took one look at that. I said, fuck that. That's, that's, no. Not even happening. Plus, this one's way more maneuverable, so... Yeah, they're probably spray painted gold. It's very funny. You say fuck that. Don't don't do that, you idiots. My plan is just to kill solely Tegits. That's all I need to do: kill the Tegits. You guys do whatever you want. Well, seems like that'll be the easier thing to do really fast. Where are these targets? I can't see them. Oh shit, I don't want to hit that wire. Anything but the wire, man. Come on. Is Warlock going to be okay finding those normal tanks? Oh shit. I have no clue where these targets are, man. Am I like tripping balls or something? I don't see the targets. Firing anti-ship missile. Wow, that missed. It. It couldn't make up its mind what it wanted to hit. Oh, here's one. Fox. Oh shit. Star Fox. Uh, miss. Horrible miss. Enemy facility taken out. Operation Sea Star. Oh shit, all, all of them are live right now. Defensive wall confirmed down. Go through that tunnel and destroy all facilities inside the fortress. Self-propelled artillery is being sent out from enemy posts in the north and south. They are approaching Warlock Battalion. We've got enemy fighters on radar. They're practically on top of Warlock Battalion. Carriers, it's a trap! They're squeezing us in! Alright, let's help them. See, now I would've needed these freaking guided missiles. Man, it sucks you can only take two. Yep, that's good. That's good night. I knew that was good night. Garuda one, ESM is active. to get that shoot command. Oh, oh there's they're friendly firing. They're all so scared. They're they're all friendly firing. 
Might as well do what I'm good at. Wait a second. All this shit is under... It's underground? What? I don't get it. So, where's all this stuff then? Where am I supposed to fly underground to kill all this stuff? I'm trying, man. Someone deployed flares. Enemy chopper shot down. They haven't even made it to the fortress yet, and they're getting brutalized. Howitzers going down. Hit. Even with a lassum, really? Connecting ESM for Garuda One. Uh, it's so hard to hit these things, man. You, got, you need the shoot commander. It's not going to work half the time. In gun range. Box two. Enemy plane down. It's such a trade-off, you know? Do I take the Lassums or do I take the anti-air weapons? I think Lassums are still the better trade because they're very reliable. I can just get the shoot command if I'm really lucky. Now, if I'm really lucky, I can definitely pull off that shoot command. That will be no problem. Of course, Warlock has a tendency to bum-rush the enemies, thinking that that's a viable technique. Basically getting wrecked. So sick of them trying to think they can ride right into the danger zone and be fine. It's not smart. You need to wait. Wait till it's safe. Whoa! I got hit by my own missile. I didn't take any damage though. Thank you. I expect the explosion to be like 30 feet above the actual target. Missile strike confirmed. Hit. Come on, man. You need a lot of missiles. Then I didn't know this stuff was going to be this powerful. They're soaking up the hits. Huh? They're baiting their- they're using their own guys as bait. Come on. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys are the expendables. Uh, have fun. <laughs> oh, ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. If I gotta do all that, ain't worth it, man. Where am I? I have no clue. 